What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel All Round Mills. Today we're going to be doing something really cool. We're going to be working with third generation iPod from 2003. And I was the coolest kid in school. Everybody was like, oh, look at Chris. Little Becky was like, hey Chris, what are you doing? I said, I got the new iPod. Sick. To be able to put a bunch of these into here. So this is a 40 gigabyte one. And I had it from 2003 to about 2005 and six. So a couple of years. So I was coming back from, uh, I had to go to study hall. You have to get a certain amount of uh, study hall hours in. And it was the winter time and I slipped down the hill and I landed right on my freaking I, uh, iPod. So this screen has looked like this since 2007. So it's 2021 now and where's this little biggie boy baby, baby bitch? So we're gonna go ahead and $10, a replacement screen. Probably would have cost like hundreds of dollars, especially with uh, the way, you know, Apple Care does stuff. Boot this little bad boy up and it'd be really cool to get this thing working again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the iFixit, iFixit toolkit. So I'll leave a link in the description for this toolkit. It's super helpful. Um, it's helped me with a lot of projects outside of just iPhones and things like that, but uh, you know, it has all the tools you need to take apart any kind of iPhone or computer or tablet. Salvage this and, and do a cool replacement screen right here. That's kind of what we're gonna work to get done. Fairly easy to open up if they've been opened in the past, but we don't know if they have been, so. So I went ahead and uh, Wedge it in a little bit. And, uh, there you go. Popping it along the side here. And I guess it's fairly easy to get it open. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of like mess around with this for a second without getting crazy. Some tells me this is the battery. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off. So it comes off and we know that that connects into there. Uh, it's just driving me a little wonky right now. There it goes. Grabbed it from the front sides. Now that's the power source. So now I don't think this thing will boot up anymore. I'm hoping it won't because I don't want to fuck it up. And let's just see if I could get kind of the motherboard without screwing anything up. I could see that the hard drive, as I like pull it away with the blue casing, there's something on this side that looks like it's coming with it. Looks like I pulled it right out. Looks like that goes into here. Right? Now the battery's just fine. And the hard drive connects into that connector. So I don't really think we have an, a problem with that. Let's just put that there for the time being. Now, there's no physical signs of water damage that I could see here, and also, clearly, the things that connect each side are in great shape, so it hasn't really been opened before. Um, again, I'm just trying to make sure, and that I'm gonna re remove these screws, one, two, three, four, five, it looks like, to get underneath the motherboard to replace the screen. That's what we have to do next. You know, six six screws, right? And what's great about this iFixit thing is this is a ma like a, a pad that has a magnet in it. Got the six screws out. Let's go ahead and rip that out. Now I just ripped the actual tape that can, has a connector. So I'm just gonna do that just to pull this, this display out. But I still gotta get that connector out, right? So here it is, here's the broken display. There we go. And it popped right out. Okay, I'm gonna take this little cloth right here, just because we're inside the unit. I'm more, I'm more concerned about smudges being on the inside screens. So it's quite simple now, right? I 
I'm not gonna sit here and say be super aggressive with it, but at this point, when you're dicking around with it for a little a little while and you're being too delicate, probably won't get in. So I pushed it in. I think I have it on nice and firm, nice and tight. Um, I just wanna see something without connecting this just yet. So let's take these screws now and put them back in. The motherboard hooked up, battery's a little loose. Let me just check something for a second. I guess that goes there, right? So with this little rubber casing that protects it, that would kind of connect into there. So I can put the battery in last. So this is going to be, I want to say, a little difficult. I guess it's similar in this regard where it's like, so long as this lines up, maybe that's why it was like bent like that. Yeah, similar way. It has to like, I mean, shit. We'll plug this battery in. Bro, look what we did. Look what we did. Stop it. Get the fuck out of here. No. All the old school C Miz music, Musa Mu. Get out of here. We did it. Oh my God. Let's just, let's try to close this the proper way. Now that it's working. Yeah, that was easy. Okay. Bro. Let me plug this in. Backlight. Look at that. Yo. <sighs> Listen. To some people, what I just did may be like, are you kidding me? That's too easy. To other people, it might be like, what? All I know is it hasn't been used or worked in like 20 something years. So to go from this screen that no longer works, that's just, I don't know, man. To me, that's just so freaking cool. Uh, so if you like this video, you like what I did, you thought it was cool, you know, leave a like and a comment. Hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm doing finance, I'm doing uh, a documentary of the brewery that we're starting. You know, I show my music, uh, I do product reviews and also gaming, whether it's Call of Duty or Fortnite. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of the video. I wanna hear some music on it, so let's try this out. The paddle, she'll be paddle, ride some paddle, so I don't have to. She really feel my swag, that's the man I be. Guys can't stand to see me put no effort in. I'm flipping like a manatee. This was successful. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the section. Love you guys.